We're here at Robinson Hale Stadium where the Choctaws had their first GSC matchup of the season against the number 10 ranked West Florida Argonauts. The Choctaws fell to the Argonauts 34 to 21. Here are some of the highlights. And now Hawthorne from the shotgun. And he is going to go with it himself up the middle. Spin move of the 20, and that last bounce going to get him the first down all the way out to the 27-yard line. Double wing back set, and Mark goes in motion. Hawthorne off left tackle, has some running room to the 40. 45 and out of bounds to the 46-yard line. First down pickup. Second down six. And here's a quarterback keeper to the near side, out to the 41. That'll be a first down to one, there's the snap, quarterback looking left, nothing there, cuts to the opposite field, has some room to run, got the first down and out of bounds to the 29 yard line. Hawthorne scrambles out left side, on the run, turns the corner, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, finally tracked down as he turned it on down to the 37. Choctaws will have the ball, second down 11, backed up at their own nine yard line. Now moving left to right towards the north end zone. Hawthorne rolls out, pass caught. Lampkin out of the backfield at the 20, 25. Over a man to the 28-yard line. Big time first down pickup for MC. Choctaws looking at a second and one from their own 24-yard line. And it's Tiberius Lampkin with a nice hole off left tackle. Weaves his way into the clear 40, 45, 50, 40, 30. All the way inside the 30-yard line. The strongest, longest run of the night for Tiberius Lampkin. And the Choctaws are in business. Second and a yard after a gain of nine on that play. And it's Lampkin who skips to the outside and gets to the 35 for a first down. Second down goal to go. Inside the one. Fiesel to Lampkin and Lampkin to the end zone. Touchdown Choctaws. Off right guard Tiberius Lampkin scores his first rushing touchdown of the year. Vaughn quick drop. Fires over the middle. And pass intercepted by the Choctaws to the 10 yard line and coming back the other way with it. Down to the 35 yard line with the INT. There's the defense making the big play. It is number nine, Turner Roadberry, his second pick of the year. And I tell you what, he was one tackler away from his second touchdown of the year. First and 10 here. And a running play, it's Schwartz and Schwartz. And the ball is on the ground and let's see. Choctaws have the football at the 46 yard line. Coming out of the pile with it for Mississippi College is uh, Michael Washington Jr. First and 10 for MC at West Florida's 46. 10 0 Argonauts, early third quarter. Hawthorne drops back, stays in the pocket, fires right sideline. Got a man there! Rodenberry at the 10. Rodenberry scores just like that. Touchdown, Choctaws! Great protection by the offensive line. Plenty of time for Hawthorne to make that pass. Rottenberry right there at the 10-yard line, and he runs away from the defender for the score for Mississippi College to get on the board in this third quarter. Third and 10, line to gain is the 43-yard line. Hawthorne to throw, under pressure again. Rolls out, left side, and now just running for his life the wrong way. Inside the 10. Just needs to let it go over the middle of the field, and it's caught at the 41-yard line, and a first down and more. 50, 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Choctaws. Shaquille Gates, what a play. Well, you talk about drawing something up in the backyard and having it pay off. Unbelievable. West Florida is a good football team, and and they're as good as anybody in our league, I think. You know, they proved that last year, and they've got a lot of talent. And I felt like I'm not, I'm not satisfied with, and our team is not satisfied with just playing them good uh, and battling with them. I think we can get better. I know our guys know we can get better, and that's our plan. The, today, though, you know, we can see some things already without watching the film that things we can improve on, which is good, means that we have some growth. And uh, when we do, I think we're going to see a lot of good things the rest of the season. Okay, and so the defense obviously did well the entire game. Um, how did those big plays help out the team tonight? Well, the big plays, you know, on defense or offense? Yeah, defensively they had some big plays and got an interception right there. I thought it was going to go the whole way. That would have been great. Anyway, and uh, 
we had some big plays on offense, and that's kind of what we flourished on. We got the big plays, and we just needed more of them. We needed to be more consistent offensively. And so I feel like we just made a little too few many mistakes, and we'll see that in the penalties and also just some mistakes that we'll see on the film and we'll be able to fix. Okay, and so what are you guys going to do in preparation for this fourth consecutive home game against Valdosta State? It's good that we're going to be home. We had a great crowd tonight. It was awesome because of the delay and a lot of, a lot of schools. You would have come out here and you would have seen the empty stands. They've gone home. The rain was here. The lightning, not, not MC. That was great to see. And I know they'll be back and uh, for Valdosta State. And uh, we'll, we'll watch the film on them and see what they – I know they've won some ball games and they're a good team as well. But we're going to watch the film and see how we need to attack them offensively and defensively and, and uh, get better this week and, and come out here and put on a good, good show for the MC crowd. Next week, the Choctaws will play their fourth consecutive game at home against Valdosta State. Kickoff is at 7 p.m.